to VJ Chemistry, and today we are going to discuss about the very important topic in MLC and that is ozone analysis. Okay, this is a fifth topic, right? It's a fifth topic we are going to discuss now. Okay, now note very important concept. Okay, what is the reagent for ozone analysis? Abhi na for reductive two type of ozone analysis. Okay, one is reductive ozone analysis, one is oxidative ozone analysis. For reductive ozone analysis, we can use for this re this reagent O3 and Me2S and O3 zinc and H2O and ozone and zinc acetic acid. O3 zinc dust and O3 and triphenyl phosphate and O3 K among six reagents, which is most important. Now, please note, okay, this is most important one. Okay, this is most important. Generally, they use this reagent for what? For reductive ozone. One, two, three, four. Okay, this first four is very important for what? Uh, generally, the people use for reductive ozone analysis. Okay, in case of oxidative ozone analysis, H2O2. Okay, listen, same, listen. In case of reductive, now we can use zinc mostly. Are they oxidative? And then we can use for oxidizing agent H2O2. KMO4 and CRO3 and AG2O. In the four, the most important now CRO3 important and K2O2 important, KMO4 important. Understand? Okay. Next, what is the product of lesson? Very important thing. Very important. Reductive ozone is the alkene give aldegate and ketone. You got the point. Illa both aldegate of formula, illa both ketone of formula, illa aldegate plus ketone formula. You got the point. If the oxidative ozone is the always answer a ketone plus acid. Okay. What is the what is the important thing abina? Okay, if you do if you do the ozone analysis in unsaturated system, the reductive ozone analysis abina, we get what aldegate or ketone. Then the, okay, we, 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 we will get two products, right? Either random aldegate or random ketone or mix up one aldegate and ketone are class based on the alkene system. Okay, wow. Are the oxidative ozone analysis of the we will get always ketone plus acid? Understand? Okay, we have to memorize this reagent, then go for questions discussion. Okay, now, now I give you the general mechanism. In case of double bond and triple bond system for ozone analysis, okay. Please note this mechanism. What is the important mechanism behind it? Note. Okay. Now I take alkenes, carbon and double bond carbon. Okay. Now ozone is reacted. Ozone is going to react with alkene. They form what? One intermediate called ozonite. See the intermediate, very important. Your carbon. Okay. Here also carbon. Your oxygen. And this is ozonide intermediate. Very important. Please note. What is intermediate called ozonide? They form first ozonide intermediate. Even then we do what? We do two cleavage. One is ox reductive cleavage. One is reductive cleavage. One is oxidative cleavage. You got the point. Reductive cleavage you know, either aldegate, CH okay, either aldegate or ketone. You know, both of them oxidative cleavage and I get what I get ketone plus acid. Ketone plus acid. You got the point. Okay. For reductive ozone analysis, we can use what? This reagent, right? O3 MUTS use panla, la O3 zinc acidic acid use panla. Other oxidative in the china, O3 H2O2 H2O2 use panla, la O3 chromic acid use panla. You got the point. Okay, this is the alkene system of amount. This is alkane la patina, triple one la patina, please note. Carbon triple one. Okay. Now I put a O3. Enough almost same. See. In the carbon, single bond. The carbon is double bond that never break on triple bond that up into bond break by over one remaining. You got the point. This is ozonite in case of triple bond system. This is what ozonite ozonite. Okay, either they are the reductive cleavage, reductive cleavage in the oxidative cleavage. This is a path in lesson in case of triple bond. We get in case of oxidative cleavage, we get acid only. Acid only carry on. Now watch. Other reductive cleavage, we get we get what? Ketone plus alligator is based on the system. Okay, you got the point. It's a very important two, two things. Please note. This is mechanism. But I'm allowed time mechanism. What are we doing? Or today mechanism. What are we take time? Right. Then I go into this trick. Excellent trick to solve what? The ozone analysis question in case of alkene and alkane system. Okay. Let's try. I'm going to plan do the more than five questions. Okay. Now start the first question. Please note. The question number one simple okay it's very very simple your carbon your double bond c your ch3 your ch3 okay your hydrogen hydrogen okay? this molecule now i'm going to do what i'm going to do ozone analysis first i'm going to do reductive ozone okay reductive ozone me2s this is me2s this is what oxidative ozone analysis this is o3 and h2o now you know very well, right? In, this is reductive, right? This is reductive ozone analysis. R O. Okay. This is what oxidative ozone analysis. O. In case of reductive ozone, what is the product? 
ஆல் டிகைட் அண்ட் கீட்டோன் ரெண்டு சி சிம்பிள் ரிசன் இந்த பாண்டை பிரேக் பண்ணுங்க பிரேக் த பாண்ட் யூ கேன் ஆட் ஆக்சிஜன் ஆக்சிஜன் இன் கேஸ் ஆஃப் வாட் ரிடக்டிவ் ஓசனாலஜி வாட் இஸ் ஆன்சர் சி சிஎஸ் த்ரீ சிஓ சிஎஸ் ரைட் சிஎஸ் த்ரீ ஓகே அண்ட் வெயிட் சார் சிஓ ரைட் சி டபுள் பாண்ட் ஓ அண்ட் சிஎஸ் த்ரீ சிஎஸ் த்ரீ திஸ் இஸ் கீட்டோன் ரைட் எஸ் ஆர் நாட் வீ கெட் கீட்டோன் சிம்பிள் திஸ் இஸ் கீட்டோன் then h c h o right this formal here h c h o this is solid here you got the point adu oxidative you know this is an adu you get listen in case of reductive abina ketone plus aldehyde adu oxidative you know ketone plus acid right appo inda ketone abbiye eludikom this ketone and acid are same right appo here c double bond o inga c s c s ketone now what what, what going to happen this aldehyde is going to become acid that is h c o h புரியுதா வெரி சிம்பிள் அப்ப ரிடக்டிவ் கேட்டா ரெண்டு ஓ ஆட் பண்ணுங்க ஆக்சிடிவ் கேட்ட இங்க ஒரு ஓ ஆட் பண்ணுங்க அவ்வளவுதான் சிம்பிள் யூ கேன் ஆட் ஒன் ஓ இன் திஸ் கார்பன் அவ்வளவுதான் சிம்பிள் யூ கார் பாயிண்ட் ஓகே அப்ப ரிடக்டிவ் ஓசனாலஜிஸ்னா வீ கேன் கெட் வார் கீட்டோன் பிளஸ் ஆல்டி கேட் அது ஆக்சிடிவ் ஓசனாலஜி வி கெட் வார் கீட்டோன் பிளஸ் ஆசிட் திஸ் இஸ் கீட்டோன் பிளஸ் ஆசிட் ஓகே ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் ஐ கோ ஃபார் நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் இஸ் வில் கெட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் பெட்டர் சி கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் டூ சேம் சிம்பிள் கொஸ்டின் ஓகே Now I take this molecule. I am going to ozone. Okay. Now, same. Now I am going to O3 and sim just. Reactive or oxidative? It's a reactive, right? Similar to this O3 and chromic acid. It's oxidative, right? C or O3. C. What is the simple thing? We have to break the bond, right? You have to break C. Simple. That's why you have to break the bond. Listen. You put your H. The H okay is CS3. For understanding. பிரேக் பண்ண என்ன பண்ணணும் இங்க சிஎஸ் த்ரீ இருக்கா இங்க சிஎஸ் த்ரீ இருக்கு ரைட்டா இல்லையா என்ன குரூப் இருக்கு இங்க என்ன குரூப் இருக்கா நான் என்ன ஓ ஆட் பண்ண சொன்ன யூ கேன் ஆட் ஓ டபுள் பாண்டோ அவ்வளவுதான் இங்க டபுள் பாண்டோ யூ கார் பாயிண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் கீட்டோன் திஸ் இஸ் கீட்டோன் ரைட் திஸ் குரூப் ஆர் திஸ் குரூப் சால்வ் கேட் சிஎச்ஓ யூ கார் பாயிண்ட் ஒரு simple okay shall we go third question third question see see question number third ah uh, this is very important question this was a previous question okay this is most important here cs3 in the ocs3 now so the compound can two double bond sir which double bond undergo osmolysis now please not important thing okay note please not note note the point note the electron rich double bond the electron rich double bond double bond undergo ozonolysis first okay pass ozonolysis ozonolysis now tell me which is more electron rich double bond listen in the omu group what omu group this is plus some group right this is plus i group you know very well mesomeric inductive which is more dominator the mesomeric more dominator right, compared to inductive yes sir therefore which is more electron rich group this is more electron rich right this group or this is a more electron rich group therefore osmosis will take place what this double bond okay first step now enna pannano you can going to break the bond right simple see same appo inga eludra adhe adala inga double bond right simple inga double bond podukona right sorry you put double bond here here in the cs3 group yes or no inga we can write o cs3 we are going to add what double bond o right appo inga o double bond o inga double bond o right இங்கே எச் இருக்கும்ல எஸ் ஆர் நோ அப்போ விகட் எச் இதுல என்ன ஃபார்ம் ஆயிருக்கு எஸ்டர் ரைட் திஸ் இஸ் எஸ்டர் இது எஸ்டரா இது எஸ்டர் இது ஆல்டிகேட் திஸ் இஸ் ஆல்டிகேட் யூ காட் த பாயிண்ட் ஆல்டிகேட் அதே ரிடக்டிவ் பண்ணோம் அப்படினா இது வந்து ரிடக்டிவ் ரைட் ஓ3 வி கேன் யூஸ் ஜிங்க்ஸ் இஸ் இஸ் ரிடக்டிவ் அது ஆக்சிடேட்டிவ் பண்ணா ஓ3 வி கேன் யூஸ் ஃபார் எஸ்2O2 என்ன மாதிரி இருக்கும் சேம் இந்த எஸ்டர் ரிமைனிங் ஆசஸ் ஆர்க்குமா சி தி ப்ராடக்ட் சிம்பிள் ரைட் right the double bond inga cs3 yes or no in the area inga o o cs3 group da inga double bond add panniralam this ester inga enna irum it become acid right o 
your OH. Okay, this is acid. Please note, this is acid. This is acid. This is ester. Very simple, right? For molecule that more than two double bond in the China, which double bond more electron rich show that undergo one was analysis. But any double bond under any symmetrical and that any under open. You got the point. See the fourth example. Very important. See, this is very important. Please note. Now do this question. Very important question. Okay. Now go into ocean analysis. See, simple. First one, I'm going to reduct the ocean analysis. Here, O3. Here, we can use what? We can use zinc acetic acid. Okay, this also reduction, right? The oxidative, we can use what? Ozone and chromic acid. CrO3. Now, what is the important thing? We are going to break the bond rise. Simple reason. And upon no, in the other one, right? Ali, you don't remain the same. We can write the same. And upon we can add when you are chirkuma, nothing you are chirk, right? Ali, yes, yes, what are you can? Better don't confuse. So confuse somebody. Let's go. Up in a chirko, right? In a chirko. In a chirko. You got the point. In a chirko. Let's not know double one at one right. I'll have a double bando. In the double bando. In the double bando. In the double bando. When the former achieve, they form equal to I equal to CHO and CH2 CHO. Two moles. Understand? ओह <laughs> CH2 COH. We get the point. Okay. You want to acid the homeless. Sometimes we get only acid, not ketone. In case of oxidative osmosis. Okay. Now, triple bond question. See, this is very important. Carbon, triple bond, carbon H. Now go into osmosis. Okay. I do reduct the osmosis. For example, O3. Okay. Inga, Z and acetic acid. What good reason? In case of triple bond, and we can go into we go into listen triple bond and the or bond which are okay. Remaining one bond is same. The carbon in a single bond. In the H. In the H. We're going to add what? In the break point, in the oxide, in the double bond, or double bond. So what is the answer? This is CHO and the CHO. Is there oxidative reductive oxidative and the china? In the O3, in the zinc. Zinc, not zinc, okay. O3, H2O2 is for now. H2O2. I mean, now you know, if the break iron material again, without formal data, you get acidic acid, right? Two moles of formic acid, COH. We get the point, okay? Now, going to give the test universal question two, I'm going to give the two questions. You can try the two questions, tell the answer in the command section, okay? Note the test yourself question. Yes, sir. Test, okay? You are self. Okay, count. Not the first question. You can try and tell the answer in the man section. This is O3 and zinc dust and O3 and chromic acid. Tell the answer. Second question. Carbon, double bond carbon. Here CS3. Here also CS3. Okay. Same. Here reductive and oxidative, okay? See, here what? Here O3 and ding, zinc dust. In the O3, in the H2O2. Okay? Try this question. Tell, tell the answer in the comment section. I hope you understand the ozone analysis. And thank you so much for watching the video. And see you in the next video as soon as possible. And tata, bye-bye. Take care.